Hey guys, RC here, back with Planet Base. This is going to be an offshoot save that I'm going to do. I'll probably record a bunch of these episodes at one time over the next week while I'm playing this save, and then I'll upload them as I get time. So you may not see the end of the series. I may record it in the next week or so. You may not see it for a couple of months, so I apologize for that. This is just an offshoot, and anything I play, I try to put up on my channel. So, um, and football manager is my priority right now. Racing uh, starters order seven is my number two save, and I don't have enough time to do three, but I do have time when I'm caught up with recording that I can play some other stuff. So I said, well, I can record it, and then I don't have to maintain a set upload schedule. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Let's look. I think this is the place I had found earlier, right in the center there. And we're going to call this Cajunville. Population me. And we'll see what, what damage I can do. Hadn't played this game probably since the end of 2018, so over a year. And... Um, I did a chant. I wish there was a pause button, but there's not. Um, I did a channel update video about a week ago for one of you guys, and they had asked to set, you know, see what games that I had on Steam, what I was, what I played, and this was one of them. And I said, you know, I hadn't played that game in a while, but I did really enjoy it. All right, I think this was that location. This is pretty nice. We could come up into here around that way. We can, we've got a lot of build room out there. And we've got a little narrow area out that way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break this down. And we are going to... I think I want, I think I want to build out that way. So we're going to, we're going to go mine... I can go either direction with the mine. So we're going to go with a large solar collector right there. We're going to get a large power collector right there. A large water generator there. I'll let them get all that started. And what we're looking for is, okay, we're looking for people to be standing around. All right, so then we want to go with a uh, oxygen producer. And I want the biggest one I can get. Now, you guys know if you've watched me for any length of time, I'm not a min-max person. All right, now we can get the largest, uh, let's go with the largest canteen. Let's come out this way. And then a regular sized dorm. Let's come out there. I want to prioritize the canteen first. Get everybody moving. All right. Now, then I want the largest biodome to start going in. We'll put that in close. I want this one to be the next priority. All right. So the canteen, now we can get them setting this up. We're going to put a meal, a four top table, a water fountain, and a TV. 
right. Then he'll get the dorm set up. One thing to remember, do not try to expand too fast. Uh, you will just kill yourself. We'll put two beds in there. Now that's red because it's still waiting for oxygen to come in. So oxygen is spreading out. It'll pick up here in a minute. But it gives them time. Let's take the tops off so we can see what's going on. And that top's still there because it's still under construction. By our little constructor bot. I'm going to up it to speed 2 just to get a little bit going here. Maybe speed four. All right, back down to speed one. All right, our biodome. I want to get two starches, three foods, and two medicinal pads. Now, you may go with a different count. This is something I read, so we, we've decided to try it. Uh, now, let's see. Now I want to build a landing pad. Let's come, yeah, let's come off to the side here. And then I might... Might want to bring that there. I'm going to hold off. I think what we're going to do is maybe try to build a storage down here, maybe. All right, but let's get that up and running. So that'll get our food production. And we're getting a landing pad so we can start getting more uh, settlers. All right, there that goes. All right, we're going to open up landing permissions. And right now what I want is 40% workers. Yeah, let's do 50. 50-50 on those. Actually, you know what? No. Biologist is first. So I want all biologists till I get six or seven. Okay, there's a colonist ship. We've got two currently. And we just picked up two more, so that's good. We've reached expansion. Let's take a quick look at the panoramic view. So there's our base looking out over the horizon. Didn't realize Mars had blue skies. That's pretty nice. All righty. Okay, so what you're going to notice is we are starting to run low on a lot of materials, and that's fine. One of the things I read is you can either try to build to become self-sufficient right away, or you can build enough to stay alive long term and trade for what you want. So we're going to go with the second option. Speaking of trading... Is Ooh, got some bad weather coming outside. If you click on a trade ship, first pick any item and click on one, and it will give you what the trader's commission is. It ranges from 35% up to 65%. So you want to try to stay in the 35 to 50 range, 55 and to 65, just send them away. So this is a guy that we would like to trade with. We haven't made anything, but I don't really need all these medical supplies and they are deteriorating outside and I'm not going to waste materials on storage right away. You may go a different route and that's fine, but we can sell five of those. I can get um, I'm just gonna take coins I think but he's only got 54 can I get another carrier bot maybe 
Ooh, all they have is a driller bot. And that's too expensive. Tell you what, I am going to buy... I'm going to buy those. That'll give me a jump start on trade values 15 or 10. So that's cheaper. That's cheaper to buy, and then I could craft them myself. That'll work. I'm okay with that. Uh, so what they'll do is they'll bring those items out, or they'll come pick them up, bring them, and then he'll leave on the landing pad the things that we just bought. I'm going to listen to the audio of the, the sound of the game. I, I've got it turned down. After this episode, I will check it again just to see how it's coming across. And then I will uh, adjust it for the next episode if I need to. Because uh, when they land, I kind of hear I'm having to yell a little bit. All right. Um, I am going to go ahead and build... Let's build a wind turbine. A big one. More colonist. What are we up to? Three, six, all right. So it looks like we picked up, what, one biologist and one worker? That's good. So we'll keep that plugged in here for a little while water fountain that's all good now slow it down here if you hit f4 now this is on the pc this gives you your grids so we've got a full battery we're not generating anything at night because we don't have a wind turbine so we do want to get that up so we can then uh, continue to have a little bit of energy production not just rely on batteries he does need to get that thing done all right, so if we look at the grid now, we're generating eight, and it'll pick up a little bit. It'll generate a max of 50, depending on your wind speed. Uh, so we're up to 16. So we're doing okay. And then between that and our solar panel, we should be fine. All right. Um, Now it tells us that we should go for our largest power collector. I'm going to go down a notch. Actually, hmm, let's see. If I go here, you know what? I'm going to change it up here. I am going to go with this production facility. That's going to take three metals and three plastics. And then... I'm going to be able to do something else. Because remember, I bought those two ore, right? So, I've got a plan. It may not work. We may be setting ourselves up for failure. Got another colonist ship. All right, we're up to nine biologists. All right, now I want to go all workers. All right, so we're up to nine biologists. That gets us enough to run this with no issue. Now, they're telling me we ought to go in a different direction. But I'm going to gamble here. We have one metal left, right? No, oh, he's not done yet. Well, yeah, he is. Oh, there we go. I want to build a metal processor. So we're going to build that with our one metal, and then we can make two more metal, right? Now, it doesn't help me out completely, but we're going to put a mine right there. Now we've got a trading ship. So I need three metals. All right, they are a 65. Ow. And they don't have any ore. I might have sucked it up, so we're just going to send them away. We are going to wait for another trading ship. 
All right, if we take a look at our power grid, we're generating 90, 90-ish a day. Our battery's filling up. We're only using 30 at max capacity right now. Water's pretty tight. So this is where we should probably go after a water generator. Now that, that might be the, no, no, no. I'm gonna go with this. I want to throw that away because I want them to build that first, like right now. All right, that gave us, we're up to six workers. I want nine or ten, and then we'll be, then we'll turn off colonist for a while. All right, so yes, build that, please. Come and build it, Mr. Constructor Bot. All right, so what this does, this metal processor, it takes one ore that you get from a mine or buying it, and it takes you a worker, the ones we're just getting right now, so it's, it's uh, specific people. So these take workers. He will turn that ore into metal, and it will hold three ore and then output. So he's working on that. So I am now going to go out and build that mine now. So as he makes these two, they're going to bring them out here. I will have to still buy one more ore or metal to get that built. But once he does, once we have this built, then we can start generating. All right. Two more, and I think we're good for right now. By the way, if you ever have an issue where you're not getting colonist ships, hit F2. It will show your status. You have to be at least 50% or better, or they will not come. So build their morale up, keep them happy. Also, one of the big things, if you ever build the TV and then you add uh, hallways off of here, check to see that it didn't destroy your television. I've had that happen. I have had that happen. So basically what we're doing right now is we are in a building mode. This is a slow period where we're not going to be doing much of anything. We're not going to be expanding. We're building up. We're, we're working on food production to keep our people fed. We are working on building up our starches, our starch reserve. And that's from these rice pads that make two foods and one starch. We can make, make those into plastics once we build a machine in here, or we can sell them. And then the medicinal plants, you see we've got a couple over here. Those are gonna be our primary currencies right now, trying to build up coins and also to buy things that we need. Now, we could run into a problem. Why are these over here? That's weird, all right. The ones that are outside will start to decay and we may lose some of those at some point. That's just one of those things. If you go with this particular style, uh, you do risk that because I don't really want storage until later. It's just kind of, but what I'm thinking is we've got this airlock. I'm thinking about putting another airlock say out here with a storage facility say there and in fact that may not be a bad idea i'm going to go ahead and prioritize the mine but while i'm thinking about it let's build a small storage here now this is one of those ones that says bigger is better it will hold a hell of a lot more but you know what i'm going to hold off on all right, more trading. He's a 35% commission, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell all of those items because I can't use them now. I need... I'm going to buy three metal to finish my mine. And then I'm going to take the rest in coins. We'll make that trade. All right, 
and they built the one metal inside so we've got we've got, we only need one more so we'll have a couple of metal left over here this would be a good place for storage because then you would have the plants and the uh, metals and and uh, plastics that could go into it but we need to get that built and I think there's another priority before we do that once your workers start working in the mine they can get injured and when they get injured they can't work so we have to build our medical lab medical uh, sick bay and they should start doing that so let's go ahead and put a small sick bay right back in that corner and you saw the TV fell down so I'm gonna go immediately in and put it back in in another location all right we're gonna keep that up to four uh, we are going to have so we have three workers and they will work that's one reason you bring in extra workers initially uh, so if they do get hurt because right now we need three workers to staff the mine and we need one worker for this so that's four so that gives us four extra workers right now uh, that we can then replenish and you know we don't need to do the sick bait so quick but we're gonna put a bed in there I don't know if we actually need the uh, actually you know what yeah, I'm just going to put a bed for right now. They can come over and, and grab from out. Well, you know what? I've only got the one plastic anyway, so that's fair enough. All right, so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put a starch processor. And like the metal, it holds three items, takes a worker, and it will convert starches into plastics on a one-to-one -one, on a one-to-one -one, uh, split there so you can see we're carrying in an ore inside from the mine we've got three people out there working so it goes pretty quickly and each one that's in there each time it goes through they will generate one ore so you can see our ore starting to come in they will stack up outside for them to grab and bring in and we are doing well so we're gonna get that built then I would like to build let's see we did the power collect oh we need another power collector because we are gonna start draining away some batteries right now right bringing more stuff online Trading ship, 40%, so that's fair. Let's do those. And you can see we've used a medical supply now. Um, I don't want to sell anything else. <coughs> so we are going to just take some more coins. Yep, so the bed got built. We had an injured worker. And that's why we're down to four medical supplies. We got some more food going on. And they built that, so now we can get some plastics going. And they'll start feeding starches into there. And we have reached self-sufficiency. So that's the next stage of the colony. And I tell you what good place for a break guys we will see you next episode hope you enjoy this series i really do like the game but we'll see you next time hit that like button and subscribe to the channel the more likes the more it helps other people find the videos much appreciated see you around bye